Hey all, welcome to my channel, welcome to John's Bottle Baking. So here we've got Eddie Storbart Moving the Nation issues 19 to 22. We uh, complete the other cab door and then we start on the engine block with issue 22. We can also have a look at what is in the magazines and have a look at the story of uh, Eddie Storbart and uh, the business and how it's moved on and basically i think there might be something about more to us as well i'm not exactly sure because i've not read them they're still in the cellophane wrapping but um it's all looking brilliant we'll also have a look at what we've uh, completed so far on the build uh it does look as though we're going to be completing the cab first before we move on to anything else which uh will look fantastic uh we will put it on shore instead of leaving it in a drawer like it is now uh, so that's brilliant but anyway Let's get on with the build! Okay, let's get the parts out of the bag. There we go, there's all the parts. We've got the magazine. This is the near side cab door with the door handle, mirror bar, upper mirror, and upper mirror casing, the lower mirror, and the lower mirror casing, and four 1.2 times 4 mil PB screws with one spare. That looks in beautiful condition. So pop that to one side for now. First of all, what it wants us to do is to put these mirrors together. We have a location hole there. And it is shaped so it will only go on one way. just like that and the same with this mirror location hole peg on the bike power line supplies should just fit in have i got it the way around probably there we go snaps in place excellent Yep, I got protective film on them as well. Brilliant! There we go. Now it wants us to fit these on here. Now they are key shaped these, so they will only slip on one way. That does look as well. It needs smoothing up on the top because it's not going to fit on otherwise. Let's screw that off. No, that should sit on nicely. just like that and you can see you can't see what I've scraped off because it's covered it brill and then we can do the same again with this mirror excellent that does typically there you go you got a wonky mirror there <laughs> That must be the norm for these. Even though the picture looks different, 
Let's see if we can sort this. There we go. Not so wonky now. It was the bottom one. There we go. Brilliant. Excellent stuff. Okay, now we need to fit the door handle. That goes on one way. Just like that. And now we need the screws. Nice tight grip. So we'll like turn the screw. And there we go. That's the handle in place. Now we need to position the mirror. That goes there and there. Like that. Yep. And we need two more screws. There we go. Get this one on there. That's a bit wonky. There we go. Turn up a bit more. Try another screwdriver. Just take your time with these screws. That uh, plastic frame is plastic, so make sure that whatever screwdriver you're using. Do it slowly. That's a better grip on that screw. There we go. Excellent stuff. Brilliant. That is issue 19 complete. It's a lovely looking door. Right now we can have a quick look at the magazine. Pop that to one side and that to one side. And first page Arrival Haulage Operation. It is impossible to say why it is that Eddie Stobart Limited caught the public imagination. There were plenty of other haulage companies that stood out in their own way. James Earlham and Sons not only stood out, but it always had many features in common with Eddie Stobart. And that uh, goes on for three pages. Uh, on the third page, we've got Colshaw Hall. Colshaw Hall is a Tudor Revival style country house. It was built in 1903 by J.G. Peel, a local textile magnate who was recorded as having won second prize with one of his horses at the Middlewich Agricultural Show in 1908. That's an interesting read as well. Brilliant. And then we have. The next article, M registration, Scania 113M320. Stobart's fleet in the 1990s included a batch of Scania 113M320s tractor units, primarily used in conjunction with the three axle curtain side trailers and particularly suited to long distance haulage. They look superb. Nice picture there, ready for the long haul, Scania's 113S with M registration number plates lying up at the Carlisle depot. The number plates range from M651TWH to at least M656TWH, indicating that they all came from Scania and were registered at the same time. And then there's a small article here on still batch relationship with Scania. Is it Scania or Scania? Scania. Anyway, your next set of parts door panel and hinges uh, let's see yep we've got on the road at the m4 motorway so i went far off it went to nine, issue 19 but issue 20 excellent stuff let's move on to issue 20 okay issue 20 there are the parts more parts for the cab door door panel and hinges Inner door panel for left door, window for left door, door hinges times two, rod for door opening mechanism, spring, bracket for door opening mechanism, and six 1.8 times 2.5 mil PM screws. Ok, 
keep that safe. First of all, what we need to do is to get that into position there, like that. There we go. And then we need to position this bracket. Okay. Now that bracket, the two ends on it are slightly different. So the bottom end. Uh, let's, let's show you. Okay. This smaller end hooks in first at the bottom of this. So I'll push that in rod in and basically position this well I said position it it's not going to be different if it's not going to be easy I think we'll put the top end in first there's not as much to put in at the bottom end there we go. And then there we go. That's how that goes. Should do. There we go. That doesn't stick as much as the last one did. Is a bit free, I think that was probably the spring on the last one. Okie dokie, brilliant. That weren't too bad, so put the top end in first and then just click the bottom end in with your finger. With your fingernail or with some tweezers, whichever you prefer. Okie dokie, now we need to put the hinges on the door. And here we have to do support this door like so put the hinges on here then we don't damage those mirrors let's get the screws out and that goes there like that and we just need to screw that into place so let's go screw face out that way for me there we go try to screw it over tapped into place all right there we go that's them two tapped into place now that's just a pen case box that but it's good as you saw to protect the mirrors um, there we go that's the hinges in place that one's not gone right so I'll screw that back out I think we'll dab a bit of oil on this one okay look and the trusty egg cup with three and one oil in it. You position that hinge. That's bitten. There we go. That makes a massive difference. I mean, these are pretty tight, but it's in place, and we protected the mirror. Excellent stuff. 
there we're going to apply this again pop the door there we need to fit the mirror in place as well as get the mirror out of there and let's see how that goes that away yep that goes there like that then we need to put this over the top just like that and we need to screw this in place four screws So I have three screws. Can only see three. Yep. Three. There we go. That's the second part of the door done. Looking brilliant. Easy peasy lemon squeeze in. Now let's see if that little catch there. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a lot, lot better that's easy that that's good that better than the other door the other door I just bent the spring a little oh, stretch the spring a little bit Excellent. let's have a look at what's in the magazine musical connections there we go any store about limited has some surprising connections with the music business perhaps this is due to the fact that many of the early trucks were named after singers Oh, it could just be the general attraction the smart lorries with unusual names <laughs> excellent stuff and in the main picture what better way to promote a single about driving an any store about truck than to visit a depot wurzel members john morgan and dave winter dressed for the part excellent that goes on for three pages we've got a page there with noel edmonds uh, an article there on the wurzels as well and then we have the M4 motorway. What would an Eddie Stolberg magazine be without a story of a motorway? The M4 motorway. The M4 is 189 miles long and runs west from London to South Wales, crossing the River Severn near Bristol over the Prince of Wales Bridge. The motorway connects many towns and cities in Britain, including Slough, Reading, Swindon, Bath, Bristol, Newport, Cardiff, and Swansea. There we have. Small article there, under and over, and moving on to issue 21, we finish off the door, the near side cab door panel, window controls, handle, kick plate and screws. So there we have issue 21, and we have the parts, inside trim for the passenger, quarter light closure, window winder, inner door handle, door pull, kick plate six 1.2 times four mil pb screws excellent all right so we need our door back again and just get myself organized i use this pen case okay let's pop the door to one side for now leave that there what we need to do is to fit this knob in here and fix that with one of these small screws I'll do the same with these handles as well so this one goes here
and last but not least we have the handle which has a location peg there so you can only put it in one way and again two screws there we go that's all those in place now we just need to fit it on the door that goes there and if I remember right, it just clicks into place last time which it does and then we have the kick plates which will only go in one way like that excellent that's the door complete there we go first story depot development photographs from, from david mulholland's archive show how edward was able to take a site and turn it into an active depot in just a few short months the site at burn was opened in 1990 at the time of the opening edward was in the process of changing the livery of the tractor units and curtain siders the trailers at the far end of the building still carry the old livery and the drawbars in the center of the shot carry a mixture of the old script type and the new bulb block lettering oh yeah you can see it there and uh excellent stuff that goes on for three pages and on the back well the last article we got lucy daft tipper truck in the early 1980s the store by fleet included daft tripper truck named Lucy after Lucy Ewing. She was a character in Dallas which was hugely popular in American TV series at the time. Lucy wasn't the only daft truck in the Stobart fleet to be named after a character from Dallas DAF 280 Turbo with a registration P88739X was named after J.I. Ewing's wife Sue Ellen. Excellent stuff. And again a small article Stobart and Daff on the last page. And on the back page, there we go, issue 22, first part of the engine block. And here we have issue 22. So we've got the left side of the engine block, engine block attachment, engine block pipe, engine block attachment, two 2.3 times 4 mil PB screws and four 1.2 times 3 mil PB screws. Excellent. Let's get the part two. There we go. That's everything. That is nice and metallic, nice paintwork as well. There's not a fantastic lot to do on this issue, as there isn't in most of the issues. Okay, so the first thing we need is this piece, which goes in here. There's a location hole there. Um, a peg on it as well, so it will only go in one way. And we just need one of these screws. Perfect, there we go. Screws in there, that is there. And then we need this piece. No. That goes there. That goes there like that. The DP or six screws for this. So these are the smaller screws. This is four of. got the one piece left to uh, put in place and you can see location and three screws and then we have this piece which goes here there's two holes one is larger than the other so you can't really get that wrong and then we can screw that into place there we 
we go that is it for that issue okay let's have a quick look at the magazine now we've done that engine block or well, the first part of it it is quite a hefty piece of metal that uh, it looks good with the detail on it as well so we get a lot more detail it looks like we are going to be doing there's a series of holes here there's another piece that goes there obviously there's the other side there's two screw holes here and there's a hole there so hopefully we'll get a lot more detail for that engine okay first article robson's of carlisle carlisle has been home to a number of major haulage companies over the years robson's caught the eye of edward and william Stobart in the early 1970s the main picture a restored robson's ford and tractor unit dating from 1970 at truck fast in peterborough in 2013. i do like that truck it's lovely actually love the paintwork that goes on for three pages and a small article there the robson's cursed so that'd be a good read and then we have our favorite the m9 motorway not the fact that it's the M9 motorway, it's just the motorway article. The M9 motorway in Scotland is 33 miles long and runs northwest from its junction with the M8 on the western outskirts of Edinburgh to join the A9 south of Dunblane via the towns of Falkirk and Stirling. And in this small picture, the M9 motorway is quite a many here. It runs past the Crop Kirk on the last stretch of its route before joining the A9, which can be seen running through the trees on the right excellent stuff yeah um, the back page there we've got uh, the kelpies perhaps the most remarkable site to be enjoyed from the m9 is the enormous public art installation known as the kelpies which is situated adjacent to the motorway to the northeast of Bolka at helix park off junction six the kelpies the kelpies sculpture is dramatically lit after midnight that does look good and here we have your next set of parts details for the engine oil sump rear and front cylinder head covers oil cap and associated screws okay okay excellent still well there we go folks that's it that's 19 to 22 that was pretty quick there's the cab door looking nice and bonny uh, with the handles on it everything's great hinges are fine mirrors are nice and steady bit of the window doesn't wind but anyway the kit plates are nice that's great so then we have the engine block i'll just grab the other parts we'll have a look at see what we've done after 22 issues there we go that is issues 1 to 22 right in front of you that's not brought yet that's good <laughs> i know that's a weak point for many people there's the cab with the two seats in place looking fantastic brilliant and then we got the bumper front panel engine lock, two doors and two tires uh, i can't remember how many tires it was there 14 have we got so another 12 excellent stuff well i hope you enjoyed that because i certainly did now we put this together we've not got a great lot to do with the cab have we uh, we just need the uh, outer part of the cab there we go and we can fix it all together get the frame on that look brilliant and i know i know there's a been an issue with this uh crank tilt um what is it the tilting crank for the cab how many people have brought it so very worry of that uh, the doors look absolutely fantastic as you've already seen they look absolutely pearl in them so and the paintwork looks fantastic i must i'll give it that the quality of the uh the parts looks fantastic just a pity it's 140 issues it should be at least 20 or less but anyway if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you next month for issues 23 to 26 yes yep i got that right that's for brilliant oh, oh hopefully have a good month stay safe and i'll see you next month bye for now